How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. My friends, they are my power. Hey guys, going to tricks. Welcome to Three Blindfolded Idiot. And today we're fighting Master Zaynord, aka our player character from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, aka myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> this fight is gonna be the death of me. <laughs> I tried this fight off camera, and it, it was pretty tough. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie; like, it was pretty challenging without the blindfold. So with the blindfold, I, I'm in for a rough evening <laughs> so yeah like i don't know how long this video is gonna take so i'm gonna get right into it but yeah as you guys can see i'm on the death screen and the reason why is because i had to kind of kill myself to show you guys my abilities and whatnot so but anyway let's get right into it so if you guys aren't familiar with this you know concept or this challenge it's basically inspired by devil may cry 5's heaven and hell mode what basically means is that i can one shot bosses but they also one shot me but unfortunately, there's no way for me to one-shot bosses in this game. So the best thing I can do is put the game on critical, make myself level 1, and I turn on, what you call it, survival. So this triples the strength and magic stats of enemies, so yeah, not only that, but I also turn on, or turn off, damage control. But yeah, some other ability to turn off is combo master, so this makes it so I can't just spam, you know, X and hit the boss and win. I have to strategically spam X, so <laughs> yeah, and also I turned off all the DLC abilities because they're kind of cheap and I didn't really want to use that, so yeah, those are all off. As for Donald Goofy, Donald Goofy's abilities are all off because I don't want them to do anything, hence the title Blindfold Idiot. I kind of want this challenge to be about me. But yeah, and for the easy codes, I have Deadly Blow on, this is the one shot kill, AP free because since I'm level 1, I don't have any AP and I can't equip abilities without that, so that's why that's on. And for magic, I'm not using any magic because magic is kind of cheap. <laughs> I wish I could use magic for this fight, but unfortunately, I already decided on the rules before I even started this challenge, so can't go back on it now. <laughs> and for Don Goofy's AI, I kind of made them passive, so they can't do anything. And last but not least, I'm also not locked into enemies, so yeah, it's <laughs> kind of cheap. I can just lock onto Zayn or to hit him immediately, so yeah, that's why I'm not locking on, but yeah, anyways. Oh, <laughs> I don't even want to do this fight, man. Like, I haven't really prepared myself mentally <laughs> for it. Uh, hopefully, it won't take too long, but I don't know. I, I did try to fight off-camera just to see how this fight goes and to figure out whether or not I have to do the whole light part, like when you go into anti-form and you have to collect the lights. But I don't have to do that, thank goodness. Like, <laughs> like once I get to the last phase or last part of Xehanort's fight and I just hit him once, I should be able to skip right into the... The whole shooting the laser or light part. <laughs> so, yeah. The, that, that's good at least. So, in total, I think this fight has about five phases. The first phase, where everything upside down. The water phase. The air phase. The first part of the tower phase, where Zeno is kind of flying around. And the last part, where you're in some kind of like magical circle. <laughs> so, in total, it's five phases. I try every single phase. And I think the hardest one for me is going to be the water phase, the air phase, and the last phase, where you're like in the magical circle. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Praying it doesn't, you know, kill me. <laughs> like, hopefully I can get through this quickly, but in this video, I'm not playing no games. Like, I'm not going to do the whole dodging thing, like, as I usually do in my previous videos. I usually only do that just to get myself lost and make it tougher on myself, but this fight in itself is already so tough that <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Like, if I can, maybe I will. I know the first phase I probably could, but after that, I probably won't be doing that. I'm probably gonna try to, you know, attack in frame one. <laughs> just get this fight over with, but we'll see. I don't know, depending on how it goes. But yeah, anyways... Let's get this challenge started, like, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, well, we go right into the fight, okay, never mind, I, you know what, yeah, let me go into the fight and I'll pause before we get to the, the actual part, but, oh, I want you guys to give me <laughs> your luck, because 
<laughs> I need it. Oh my goodness, my sanity's gonna, you know, be gone by the end of this video. Oh wait, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is actually connected to my speaker. But yeah, I'm gonna change that, and I'm also gonna, I'm gonna put on the blindfold, so... Yeah, I kinda have to restart recording again, so... <laughs> so yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, okay, so... Now the blindfold on, so... Yeah, I know the boss is right in front of me, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try dodging a little bit, see if I can. Like, the first part isn't really so bad. I tried off camera, so... For the most part, I should be able to dodge it. Like, I, I try to get myself lost, like I usually do. But after that, I probably won't do that, so... <laughs> yeah, I know there's one attack he does where he kind of... You know... He does this green ball thing, and then he kind of teleports me, and then... You know, he kills me, because <laughs> I can't move, so... Hopefully he doesn't do that off the bat, but we'll see, but... Anyways... Yeah, I think everything's good now, so... Yeah, anyways, I guess we'll get this challenge started. Hopefully, I don't die a million times <laughs> and take like two hours to beat this boss, but yeah, enough rambling. I don't want to do this because <laughs> I'm scared. Listen, kid, I think you'd be more comfortable over at that place. Weenie Hot Juniors! But <laughs> yeah, anyways, let's go. Okay, there we go. Dodge around a little bit. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm also, I'm probably gonna, you know, commentate for like a couple of the deaths, and then if I die too much, I'm probably gonna go silent and, until I beat it. So, <laughs> yeah, like I might do like maybe five deaths, maybe. Give it a take. Let's go. All right, never mind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it, it, it was a lot easier to dodge when you know I didn't have the blindfold on. But, I guess it's a lot ch more challenging now, since I had the blindfold, so what I'm gonna do that, I guess I'll just attack. <laughs> get, get this over with. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's go. For real? Heck, like, I know he's attacking right off the bat, like, I already know some of his starting moves, so... I know he's immediately attacking me, so... Uh, what should I do? I guess I'll dodge one more time, see what happens. Come on, get him. There we go. That's fade number one down, so there we go. <laughs> a part of me is like, it's kind of cheap that I kind of just immediately tagging him, but at the same time, this boss fight is kind of hard, and <laughs> you know, he's immediately tagging me, so he can kill me any single time, and I can't even get a single attack off if I just dodge, so it's somewhat justified, I guess. <laughs> this part, though, frame one. Oh, no, now no, we go. Okay. Go, go. <laughs> this boss fight, man. Th this part, in general, he immediately does his explosion attack. So I have to, I have five seconds to kill. Five seconds, either that or if I can, if I can dodge it, with five seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. Like even when I was practicing off camera, I still had no idea what to do. <laughs> It literally luck by it. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> this. Oh, I, I can't stop laughing because I'm, I'm so I'm so scared. Are you saying I belong at Weenie Hut Juniors? Uh, oh no, sorry. I was actually pointing to the place next to it. Super Weenie Hut Juniors. <gasps> What's wrong with you? We did it. <laughs> okay, so was that cheap? Probably. Ugh. That's, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of left a little bitter taste in my mouth there. Uh, I should, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I, I didn't think I'll kill him so quickly. I don't know. <laughs> like, like I said before, it is justified. Like, I literally only have five seconds to attack, so I guess it kind of got lucky there. Like, he, he was supposed to do the whole explosion attack and kill me, so <laughs> yeah, I, I got really lucky there, so I'll take it. Whatever. All right. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this this is what happens when I play seriously. It is sort of cheating because I kind of know his move sets, but I don't know. You guys probably want to see me actually beat it blindfoldly. I mean, technically speaking, I am beating it blindfoldly. I did, you know, play off camera, so I do know some of his move sets, but it's still hard to execute them when I don't know what's going on. So I'm not sure if you guys like to see me die over and over again, or you guys want to see me beat the boss blindfold. But I, I guarantee you, the next couple phases will be pretty difficult, though. Like. We kind of breeze through the first three phases, 
The first phase was really easy. Like, you know, it's not really that hard. Second phase, I got lucky there. I was able to kill him, like, before I died, so that's lucky. The third phase, I, I already know what he's gonna do. But in the last two phases, are sort of difficult. I still don't know what he's doing in the fourth phase. He immediately starts off attacking you. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'll try dodging this phase. Like, I know I didn't dodge the last three phases, but this time I'll try to dodge. Like, it's kind of hard to dodge in the first three phases, because number one, the first phase was... I had, like, a little platform to dodge. Like, I, for the most, if I fall off, then <laughs> I'm basically dead. <laughs> and secondly, it's, I can't really dodge in the, the water phase. And for the air part, it was hard to dodge, too. You can't even dodge. <laughs> like, I basically had to glide around, so... This time, I'll try to dodge, okay? <laughs> that way, there'll be some deaths in the video. That way, this video won't be too easy and won't be a breeze, so... Yeah, we'll dodge a little bit, so... I'm not sure what I just did. Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Oh, we're fine. Okay, here we go. I know you. Hi. Right. Get him. Get him. Got old man. Hey, we got the old man. <laughs> this is actually turning out to be a breeze. <laughs> oh, I, I say that now until the last phase. The last phase starts off with a whole bunch of meteor attacks and. Oh, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm telling you, the meteors, if I dodge, I have like maybe a 50% chance to actually survive that. So what I have to do is actually have to, I have to block. So I kind of know the timing in my head. So we'll see if I can execute that. It's really hard because I can't see if the meteor... It's gonna be really hard because I can't really see where or like when the meteor is gonna come. So we'll see, but <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, one, two, three. Block, 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 block. Okay, dodge. Get him. You thought you'd win. <laughs> that was pretty good execution for the first fight. Is it cheating that I fought this boss off camera? Do you guys consider it cheating? Should I not have done this off camera? Yeah, I mostly did it off camera to see if, you know, if the whole like light collecting part is gonna be in the boss fight but along the way i kind of just learned some stuff so i mean it's partially cheating but it's kind of like studying for a test you know like i kind of study for this boss fight but i still have to execute it <laughs> so i guess it's not cheating right i don't know <laughs> i'll try it again one two three block 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 okay <laughs> it's really hard to tell the meteors come at random times. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Block, 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 block. Okay. No! <laughs> it, it's the last meteor. The last meteor is the one that always kills me. <laughs> There's some times where if I block once, I can block multiple meteors. So that's good. But the times where I block once, and it is some time before the next meteor, so Sora stops the whole blocking animation and I get hit. It's really hard. One, two, three, block. Block. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is kind of RNG. Like for the most part, I kind of had to just spam block. <laughs> like even though I got, kind of got the timing down, it's still RNG. <laughs> so this is the part where you guys will see me die multiple times over and over again. So... Hey, at least there's some deaths in this video, right? Alright. One. Really? <laughs> oh, I kind of deviated from the plan. What sucks is that once I get to the whole part where I can do the light ray thing, like, it's, the game does not prompt me. Like, I might hear, like, a little bit of a sound, but I, for the most part, I can't really hear it, so even if I hit him, it won't bring me to the next phase until I spam triangles, so once... You know, I, like, I'm attacking him. Like, I'm pressing triangle at the same time. Because <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna... Or when I hit him, so... Yeah, anyways, let's go. One. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> One, two, three, lock. What a dumb way Never mind. To go. <laughs> I can try dodging, but... <laughs> like, it... It's not as good as blocking. Like blocking, have have more of a, a higher chance of succeeding and and, and living. <laughs> if I dodge, it's all up to luck. 
One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Get him. Oh, <laughs> dang it. That was cool. That, that was pretty close. We got through the media part there. That's, that's good. I, did, I was not able to hit him. E or either that I hit him, but I then press triangle. One of those two. This is like, you know, a fight against myself, kind of. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Stupid. Stupid. Too slow. Oh, you know, I, I think I hit him. Nope. Maybe, maybe not. I tried again. One, two, three. Just like Never mind. Try again. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Get him. Get old man. Go, get him. Dang. Montage. I wish it just brings me to the next phase, man. What do I have to do myself? Alright, let's go. Something is wrong with you! Yes! We did it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't for, you know, me kind of like studying up on this fight, <laughs> it would have been so much worse. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. I saved myself maybe an, an hour or two of my life. <laughs> so. I kind of thank past tricks for studying up on this fight, <laughs> but yeah, well, I guess we're up to the whole heart thing, so I guess before I do that, let me just take out the blindfold really quick, so that way I can kind of see the cutscenes, but oh my eyes! My eyes! Oh my god, my eyes! <laughs> it's so bright. Oh. Let me just lower that down a little bit. There we go. Not so bad. <laughs> Alright, so a little better now, but still kind of bright. 20 minutes. Okay, so this fight took me 20 minutes. <laughs> Not so bad. Actually, it's longer than 20 minutes because I had the whole intro thing, so... In total, it's like a half an hour video, but... Ugh, <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Come on, so let's beat this old man. Let's show my old self, you know, how it's done. <laughs> like, it's still so weird to know that our player character became Xehanort. So basically, right here, I'm kind of killing myself. <laughs> oh, I guess not really killing myself because... Nobody dies in Kingdom Hearts, so honestly, I'll tell you guys right here, Xehanor is gonna be a, a good guy and gonna help Sora fight the the Master Masters and the the Foretellers. I'm telling you right here, guarantee. <laughs> Xehanor is gonna be like the Frieza of this series. He's gonna come back and help them uh, and help them win, basically. I, I wanna be shocked if Xehanor is like the deciding factor for the fight, <laughs> cause I feel like Nomura really likes Xehanor, so I don't think he's gonna just throw him away like that. So I think he's gonna somehow come back and help Sora with this last fight. Especially since Xehanort is so big with the whole or at least kinda connected with the four talent because he is the player character, so he kinda connected to the Union Cross story, so I think he will play a role. I would not be shocked if Ericus comes back as well. But I don't know, we'll see, but <laughs> Oh I'm so happy man. <laughs> Oh, we finally beat the main game for this challenge. It just took how many episodes? Like 20-something? I think it was like 24. Yeah, you 
Take that, old man. How many times did I teach you the lesson, old man? <laughs> oh my god, it's still so bright. <laughs> oh my goodness, bud. It's, it's been a journey. <laughs> we finally beat the main story of Kingdom Hearts 3 with this challenge. Next up is Remind. The first fight's gonna be... I thought was called the Heartless with the Scarf. I, I don't think he'd be so bad because when it comes to this challenge, the hardest bosses are bosses with multiple phases like Xehanort or bosses with really huge maps like the Lich. Like, other than that, bosses in general aren't really that bad. So, I don't think from here on out, the challenges are going to be as bad as it is, is right now besides the last Xehanort fight we do in Remind. I think that Xehanort fight fight to be the last hard boss we fight. After that, every single boss is going to be somewhat difficult, but not as bad as, you know, these fights. Oh yeah, shut up, Xehanort. <laughs> look, look at my crew. Oh. oh these are so good. Oh, I love King Wards. Look at them, looking off the distance like me right now. <laughs> They're like, this challenge is finally... It's not over. This challenge not over. <laughs> I was gonna say this challenge over, but I was like, never mind. <laughs> it's still so much. So we're literally me right now. Mickey's like, this challenge is finally over, and I'm like, no, it's not over. We still got the DLC. <laughs> we still got the data fights. We still got Yozora. It is not over. <laughs> it's far from over. We're maybe halfway done with <laughs> the series, because how many data battles are there? Thirteen. Your Yozora fight like. Number 14, the 14 fights we have to do. Puts Remind has a couple of fights we have to do as well. Yeah, we're, we're about like halfway through. I will end up right here with my boy right here. <laughs> but yeah, this challenge, it was something. But honestly, it's been so much fun doing this series up until now. And like I said before, there's still so many more fights we have to do. So it's not over yet, <laughs> unfortunately. Like by the end of the series, I'll probably lost my sanity. Like, I've already lost, like, half my sanity, so, yeah. <laughs> it, the other half will be gone by the end of this, you know, series or challenge, whatever, but, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this myself, like, <laughs> oh my goodness, but. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the series up until now, like, oh, it's so much fun doing this series. And I really hope you guys enjoy the series as much as I do, but, yeah, next video is going to be, like I said before, on the Heartless with the Scarf. There's probably be some bosses in the Remind DLC I might skip. One boss in particular is Anti-Aqua. It's literally the same fight. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. Like, I, unless you guys want me to do it again, but I, I'm not going to do it again. Like, nothing changed. I'm still playing as Sora fighting Aqua. Like, it's the same. I'm not sure if I want to skip some of the Keyblade Graveyard fights because they are about the same. <laughs> like, if, if I decide... To play as Roxas, Aqua, and Riku during those fights, I might keep them in. But at the same time, I can't change their abilities, so you don't get one shot at anyway. So I'm like, it, I don't know. <laughs> if you guys want to see it, I will, I'll do it. But I don't know. I'll have to think off camera. But they're basically the same fights, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, man, I'm so glad this boss was, you know, e easy. But even though I kind of played this battle off camera. It's still relatively difficult. Like, it was still hard to execute some of the, the tactics I learned. So, yeah, it was still hard, but it wasn't as bad. So, thank goodness for that. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways, that kind of bad. I don't want to ramble on too long. Like, I, I tend to ramble on a lot. So, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this series, definitely hit the like and subscribe button as I plan on doing more of this series. I'm Toby Iozora. But also, I upload the series every Saturday. So, that's definitely a time to check out my channel if you guys are interested. But, Anyway, I'm going to end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.